Hey, it's Dan with Bike Graphics on our Tuesday tips. And today we've purposely screwed this up about as bad as we can here to show you guys some tips on how to fix this sort of stuff where you've got, you know, massive wrinkles and creases, bubbles, wrinkles, creases, all kinds of stuff. So what we're gonna do is jump in here and take these kind of little sections and one by one and show you guys the best way to fix these. They may not end up being perfect, but all of this, if it has gone horribly wrong, this is still salvageable. So we're gonna show you how to do that here. As always, squeegee and heat. Not a heat gun, but a hair dryer. So we're gonna start back here. A couple of these I think are fixable without peeling all this up. So I'm gonna show you that technique. The, the heat does a lot, so I'm going to show you here. This can be peeled up and fixed, and we'll show that in a minute. But say this is all you had and you didn't want to peel it up. We're just going to get this really hot and use the hard edge of the squeegee. Get your hair dryer, let it sit on that for a minute. We'll do these one by one. So once that's been on there for about 10 or 15 seconds, Starts to let, see how easy that starts to soften. Didn't even have to peel it up, and it's gone. Same thing on this one. So those were two pretty big. Those were two pretty big um, wrinkles there that we didn't have to peel that up. We were able to save those by just using heat. These next two, this, you know, you could fully crease that over, right? That is ruined, but it's not. So. What I would do is carefully just peel this back. Try not to stretch it. If you pull really hard on it, this stuff can stretch, especially if you've used heat on it already. So we're just gonna peel this back, peel the whole thing back to where that is. Get your point down. Now we're gonna work just like we normally would from here out and from here out. I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of heat. You can see that wrinkle just goes away. That's completely gone. I mean, now that was creased over. You were able to pull it back and start over. So we can basically show you the same thing here. This has got a sideways wrinkle, almost a T, and then a creased over wrinkle. So the first thing I would do is I'm going to work this in, work this all the way into where those are gone, and you have just a wrinkle left. You use the soft side at the beginning. Slowly working that in. Be careful not to crease it. If it does crease, we if it does crease, we can still save it. But get it as close in as we can. Basically, just working it all to the center. When we get to there, I'm gonna go down on this and open this up. I want to get all the way back so there's a a V there. Now I'm just gonna get it really hot and start working this out just like we did these other ones. Get it on high. So you work side to side, you don't just do it all at once. Work real nice and slow, even it out. What you're trying to do is spread the wrinkles out as far as possible so there's more smaller wrinkles and they can go away instead of trying to get rid of one large wrinkle. Going. Big spread. So you know, you've taken one really big wrinkle and spread it into a bunch of small wrinkles. Got the heat on it. So that's a good tip on how to fix wrinkles. Uh, we're going to post this up today. As always, comment below on the other things you want to see. Uh, keep an eye out next Tuesday. Probably the uh, number one most recommended tip people want to see is applying jersey lettering with a hair dry or with a uh, an iron and an ironing board. We, you know, we're lucky enough to have a heat press here, but most people don't have a heat press. So we're going to show you guys the best way to get the jersey lettering and logos on with an iron. So keep an eye out for that next Tuesday. Thanks, guys.